The pound in your pocket is about to get a new look, but its design harks back 80 years to the old Throckney bit. George Osborne likes it so much, he tweeted a picture of it with his budget box. Well, the pound is a, is a visual and tangible symbol of British identity, and Prime Minister's always been very careful to talk about the pound in your pocket. Harold Wilson used to talk about that. Tony Blair declared his love for the pound. So it's a tangible symbol, and uh, George Osborne knows that it's a very powerful symbol. We've had this Scottish referendum campaign going on at the moment where the currency has probably become the dominant issue. It's been three decades since the first pound coins replaced pound notes. But there are now so many fakes in circulation, 45 million at the last estimate, that the Treasury has decided it's time to throw out the old and make a less forger-friendly version. How do I know whether I've got a pocket full of fakes or not? <laughs> well, interesting question. There are a couple of ways you can tell. There are actually a number of ways. First is obviously the colour. Sometimes it just doesn't look right. Now, also, one of the best ways is to take the coin. So here we have a one-pound coin. We have the head of Queen Elizabeth II there. If you turn it round onto the other side, the image should be at 12 o'clock. It should be perfectly in line with the image on the front. So That's if it's a nice, wonky, it's a fake? Way. Yes, uh, yes, it will be, yeah. The current pound coin has been around so long, the Queen has visibly aged as new coins came into circulation in the 80s, 90s and 2000s. And they'll be around for a while yet. The new pound coin won't come into circulation until 2017. But after that, they'll start phasing out the old ones. So if you still want to see one of these, you'll either have to come somewhere like this or have a rummage in the back of the sofa. Skeptics also question why we need a new coin, which will only have a third of the buying power of the first generation and will be introduced as more and more people use cashless forms of payment. Of course, the prerequisite of sound money is a sound currency, and Mr Deputy Speaker, the one-pound coin has become increasingly vulnerable to forgery. Now among the oldest of coins in circulation, one in 30-pound coins are counterfeit, and that costs businesses and taxpayers millions each year. So I can tell the House that we will move to a new, highly secure one-pound coin. It will take three years. We will consult with industry. Our new pound coin will blend the security features of the future with inspiration from our past. In honour of our Queen, the coin will take the shape of one of the first coins she appeared on, the threatening bit, a more resilient pound for a more resilient economy.